Wiping still HR showing a heart rate. The still HR goal notification is three parts vibration, animation, and LED of the goal reached. And now my review 30 days later. Well, here's a follow up review of the Wyvings Steel HR. Uh, after one month, uh, durability is pretty great. Band uh, does uh, collect some lint here and there. But the watch face still looks great. No uh, issues hardware wise. There's that LED screen. I don't know why it's detecting heart rate when I'm not wearing it, but a lot of them do that. So 7,003, so it looks like it needs to sink. Alarm is off, 35%. I charged it two weeks ago. So if we pull down here on the app, it should force a sink. See my devices, 34%. Now if you scroll down, it'll show you last time it synced, which was two minutes ago. So I don't, sometimes, yeah, this has happened where I look at the timeline and the amount of steps on the app are not the same as the steps on the device. I, I don't know why that is. Uh, um, yeah, I don't know. And then uh, I shortened my goal to 3,000 because I wasn't getting it to 10,000. Uh, yeah, so even though it says not quite 100, it's actually I've almost tripled it. Uh, there aren't any notifications for when you double or triple your uh, goal. But no, it is a good watch. Uh, the face, it's kind of hard to tell time. I wish it had numbers. And there's no uh, backlight other than the actual LED screen. So at night, you can't tell the time unless you push the button and uh, turn it on. Uh, the vibration alerts are pretty good. You can usually film. It is pretty light as far as a vibration alert. But uh, yeah, you'd have to try out for yourself. Is it worth $180? You know, it depends what you want. Um, if you're just looking for a step counter and something to give you heart rate data, I think it does a pretty good job. I feel that Fitbit and Garmin are better. Uh, it doesn't really let you know your resting heart rate. I mean, it shows your average heart rate, and I went on a long walk today, and that's when my average heart rate is so much higher. Uh, but during sleep mode, it is pretty cool. You can hover your finger over and it'll tell you what your heart rate was while you were sleeping. So you can see my heart rate's dropping to 67, 65, and lower. And then the alarm clock is when you woke up. And then you can go back and view uh, your heart rate. Oh, there we go. So I'm dropping down to 60. And it shows you your, your average heart rate, your high and your low, which is really nice. And then during the day, as well. And then uh, when you do a workout, uh, it does a pretty good job. It gives you quite a bit of details during your workout. It doesn't do step count. It does distance, as you can see right there, number of miles, and you can switch it here, and it'll do just heart rate data or calories, well, workout intensity, but it doesn't show you the actual uh, steps, just distance. The distance is, is pretty good. It's based on off of my height, but uh, yeah, that's it. And uh, it's, it makes it pretty easy to uh, start a workout. At any time during any of the phases, you just hold down the button and it quickly goes into workout mode. Kind of hard to read depending on the time of the day because the hands can get in the way. You can see the countdown timer there. It shows you the number of seconds you've been working out and that shows you your uh, heart rate when you're wearing it.